Slider swung to the right center field. That's a base hit. Stopped at third as Walker runs through the stop sign. Garcia guns him down. All right, so we have a huge play in the game here early in game three. It's the bottom of the second inning. Christian Walker hits a double to start off the inning. We have Tommy Pham up. Max Scherzer hasn't settled in yet. Doesn't have great command, especially of his off-speed pitches. It's a great opportunity for the Diamondbacks to jump on him early. So again, nobody out. And we have Tommy Pham hit this hard line drive here into right field. And I want to break this down because... Walker runs through the stop sign right there. If we zoom in here, let's take a, a closer look. You can see the stop sign goes up right here. And Walker is going to run right through that stop sign and get thrown out at home. So Pham ends up moving to second base. Instead of having second and third with nobody out, we now have just a man on second with one out. So we give Scherzer a free out and we have the potential for a huge inning that kind of goes down the drain. So let's back up here a little bit again so we get a little better view. And I was talking about this. I was streaming the game live and I had just talked about third base coaching and how when there's nobody out, that's what I'm most cautious. I don't want to run into an out. And I'm thinking that as a base runner, but in these situations, when you're rounding third base, especially on balls hit behind you where you can't see, you are 100% relying on the third base coach to tell you what to do. So he has to make that decision. And he has already gone through the amount of outs, the game situation. He's thinking about who the ball's hit to. Where are they playing? So Garcia's in right. He's got a super strong arm. How hard is the ball hit to him? What direction is he moving? Is he able to get his momentum behind the throw? And so he makes the decision very quickly to hold up the runner. Now, again, if we go in here as the runner, right? So here's the shuffles. And this is actually really impressive. Watch how quickly the third base coach decides that this ball is down. Watch this. Right there. So he puts his hand. He's going to start to wave him right there. Almost immediately off the bat, he's like, yep, that ball's down. You can see Walker is unsure, which is fine. With nobody out, you don't need the greatest read in the world. So you can see he's kind of shuffling a little bit. And then right there, he goes, okay, that ball's down. So it's pretty cool how quickly the third base coach is. It. And now you've got a little bit better view. You're looking out at the field. You can see the defenders. But he's saying, okay, here we go. So he's waving them. He's waving them. Now, let's talk about what the runner should do. And then let's talk about what the third base coach should do. So as the runner, what you're taught to do is you're taught to read the third base coach. You're going to have your eyes up. You're going to see him waving, right? So you're going to see him waving right here. Now, the interesting thing, I know it's not the greatest angle, and there wasn't a real good angle to be able to see Walker's eyes. This is just a great view to see the whole field. But if we watch Walker here, it looks like, like his head looks down the whole time. It doesn't look like he's ever picking up the third base coach, which is strange. You know, maybe right there he sees him. Looks like he could be looking up right there. But you're going to wave him, wave him. So your job as a runner is pick up the third base coach now. So you pick him up. You see that he's waving you. Now you look down and you make sure you hit the base. Now you're taught to look back up again and find the coach. I think right here, the third base coach, right? So he's saying stop right here. And I think he's looking at him and saying he's not even looking at me. So then he says, okay, fine. You're going to go home. I guess we'll just run home. So again, you've got to pick him up twice. That's what you're taught. Pick him up twice. Pick him up here. Yes, we're going. We're going. Now I'm going to look down and hit the bag. Now I'm going to look back up. If I were him, I would have kept, actually, if I was a third base coach, I would have kept my arms up a lot longer instead of just putting him down. It's weird that he puts him down right here. Again, I'm assuming that he saw that Walker's not even looking at him and already made his decision. I'm going home. So that's when he says, well, okay, fine. I guess I'll tell him, you better slide because you're going to be out by 10 feet. Now, the mechanics of the third base coach, because again, this is what we were talking about when we were watching it live. If you see his positioning, and I coach third base. I've done it now for 10 years. I did it in college, and then I've done it in high school for the last eight. When there's a man on second base, as the third base coach, 
you're always going to be down here. And I'll get down even further. So he starts here. And the reason you're going to move down is because you want as much time as possible to hold that runner up if you want to. And so the further you get down here, the more he can see you rounding the bag. I want to get down there, right? So here I go. I'm saying, yes, yes, yes. I want to get down because I want to read this throw. I also want to see, does he bobble the ball? So I'm saying, come on, come on, come on. But I'm looking out here and I'm watching, okay, does the fielder field it cleanly? I don't want to say right here, like, stop, stop, stop before he even has the ball because what if he bobbles it? So I'm saying, come on, come on, come on. And as I'm doing that, I'm moving, I'm moving. So as you can see him moving, right? He's moving further down the line. It gives him more room to say stop if he needs to. Once he sees Garcia pick the ball up right here, right? So watch. Garcia picks the ball up right. Let's see where he picks the ball up. It's hard to see. Right there. So you can see once he sees that he picks it up clean, that's when he flashes the stop sign. So he picks it up clean. He says he's got momentum coming this way. The key that I usually look for is, does he field the ball before he hits third base? If he does and he's got a strong arm and he has momentum coming this way, I'm stopping him, right? And that's what he does right there. He stops him right there. So that's why he's down here. Now that's why you've got to pick him up twice. You've got to see that. And you've got plenty of time now. Like right here, you see, okay, he's saying stop. Okay, I'll stop and I'll get back. But Garcia just fires. He runs right through the stop sign. Pham does a good job of reading the high throw over the cutoff man's head. And so he's going to move up and he's caught and tagged out. So unfortunately, we should have had second and third nobody out. And instead, we have one out man on second base. And this could have been the game. This could have been a huge inning and it wasn't. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, all that stuff. And we'll talk to you later.